Hello everyone, here is another Dollar Tree DIY in my Christmas series. So I have this one in my bathroom. Let me show you what I did to make it. So what you're gonna need is a vase and a mirror. The mirror is optional. I like the mirror because it gives it more stability. You're gonna need some ornaments. I use the bells and I use these balls. You're gonna need some pine cones. Some berries, I use the silver berries. Some poinsettias, I use the white poinsettias. You're gonna need some hot glue. You're also gonna need some E6000 glue, which I did not film. I thought I was filming, but I didn't. So first thing you're gonna do here is take that clip off of the ornament. It all comes together with a clip, but I didn't want that because it would make it too bulky. And then I just used the hot glue to stick it all back together. Just took a couple seconds. So the first thing I'm doing here is I'm gonna cut down these poinsettias. I'm gonna cut them down to about a half inch on the, um, on the stem. I want them really short because I'm gonna be attaching them onto the side of the glass because I want this to be a really tight, um, small arrangement that can either go in a bathroom or can fit on top of a candle holder. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bend that uh, stem just a little bit so that the flower kind of faces outward and I'm going to put some hot glue on the back and I'm going to start right on this first edge and I'm going to apply it there and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply four poinsettias directly across from each other so I'm starting here on this side and I'm just going to put one on the opposite side and then I'll do the same thing you know on the two uh, opposing sides and this glue dries so fast. I love working with hot glue. It's, it's really fast. So now I'm gonna get those two. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna go in with is this, um, this ornament. And it's nice and full. I kinda, like, I kinda wish I got more of those, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna put some hot glue on the back and then I'm gonna put it in between the two poinsettias, two of the poinsettias. Now I'm going to go in with the ornament bells and I'm going to go, go in between another set of poinsettias. Then I'm going to go on the opposite side and go in between the, point, the poinsettias on the opposite side. And then I'm going to cut down these pine cones um, I'm going to cut them down to about an inch or so um, and I'm going to cut down the one with the pine cone on it and the one that just has the greenery because that's going to give it a little bit more fullness and so that's the way I want it to, uh, to go in with that. So one of these uh, white poinsettias fell off so I just glued it right back on. This new issue. I actually glued two of them back on. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just going to glue that pine cone right on top of the greenery. And I'm going to put it down pretty low since I have the other ornaments pretty low and just so that it kind of balances out all the way around the arrangement or around the candle holder. So with the pine cone, I'm gonna cut it all, I'm gonna cut it all the way to the base. I don't really want any of the stem left behind because I need it to be seated all the way um, to the glass, basically, because I'm putting them right above the bells. Now with the berries, I'm I don't want the the um, the green stems to show so I'm going to push those down and I'm just going to cut off the berries alone. So when I cut those off then I'm going to, I'm going to start inserting um, the berries. I'm going to start with inserting them around the pine cones because um, that's kind of like the dullest area and so um, just to kind of wake that area up a little bit. 
So just on either side of the pine cone, I'm gonna put a set of berries. Just put a bead of glue on the stem, stick it right next to the pine cone. And then I'm just gonna do the exact same thing on the other side with the other pine cone, just to balance, have things balance out. Now I'm just gonna fill in any areas I feel like needs a little something extra with the berries and so I'm just gonna look around and wherever I see where you know something a little extra is needed I'll just push it in wherever it looks interesting and there's that poinsettia it came off then another one came off and so I took the opportunity to set that a little bit closer to the glass and a little lower just to kind of match with what's going on on the other side so now this part is completely optional. Um, I'm going to add some of this silver ribbon to the bear, to the bells. Um, so I'm going to just hot glue them right onto the bell. But it's completely optional. Uh, I could have left that off and I think it still would have been fine. Now I did not record me using the E6000 glue to attach the candle holder to the mirror. I thought I was recording and I wasn't, but the only thing I did was just took the E6000 glue and just um, put a bead around the bottom of the glass candle holder and attached it to the mirror. Now here it is in my bathroom. Um, I'm just starting to decorate my bathroom for Christmas. and so. Um, here it is. I love the way this came out. Now I have two options. This, In this way, I'm just putting it right on top of my silver candle holder. Um, I love the way this looks, but then I also had another option of um, just putting, putting it directly on the counter and then having the candle holder with another candle right next to it like this. And so I have to decide which way I want to do it. Um, why don't you guys put me, leave me a comment in, in the um, down below. Let me know which way you would do it. Would you do it on top of the candle holder or would you put it um, on the side and then put a different candle on top of the tall candle holder? So right now I want to like to thank you all for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.